Hello Internet, James Allen from Out of 8, and today I'm playing real-time strategy game Bannerman. game features a campaign, uh, which is pretty typical real-time strategy fare. Uh, it is fairly lengthy, uh, but most of the missions are pretty typical where you have, you know, attacks against enemy bases, defending against waves of enemies. There's a really annoying first mission is a stealth mission where you have to sneak past really fast opponents that appear really quickly uh, on the map. Uh, missions where you can only control heroes and have to survive, that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, nothing too uh, innovative there. You do get skill points you can spend between missions to increase the effectiveness of your hero spells. Uh, but other than that, that's kind of the, the campaign there. Uh, also, tutorial teaches you the basics, obviously. And then the skirmish was just what I'm going to show off. Then there's also online multiplayer uh, if you want to go into that. So we'll start a skirmish game against the AI. Not very many skirmish maps. Uh, and only one map can support up to eight players. Uh, so we'll just kind of pick this one and add a bot. Uh, no difficulty settings on the bots. There is a difficulty setting for uh, the campaign, uh, but here you're kind of, that's the AI you're going to uh, go up against. So, uh, as you would expect, what you want to do is try to accumulate resources. Uh, the way you do that is by these workers. You can see uh, there's only two resources in the game. There's wood and gold. So what you need to do is you build workers that automatically collect wood or gold and then take it back to your gathering base. Um, and then you use that wood and gold to build additional structures, uh, units, and all that stuff. So I'm going to send my little scout guy out over here. There is a finite amount of resources here. You can see there's only 9,000 wood, and you will eventually run out. Uh, especially if you max out your economy like I like to do. Uh, so I'm gonna send him, actually, I'm going to send him here. Uh, so pretty interesting there where there's a, and it's also a hard cap on how many uh, workers you can have per resource location. As you can see, you can only have up to 10 wood workers, and then you'll have to expand out uh, across the map. Uh, most of what you're going to be building is houses because uh, the population cap is fairly low. There is a hard cap on... Uh, the number of units you can have. It's, up, it's 200, uh, which is kind of low, as you'll see, especially when we get up to the higher um, units. I need to remember to keep doing this while I'm talking. Uh, send them to gold. Uh, because uh, better units take up more than one population slot, so you have to kind of keep an eye on that. Uh, but most of the time, you're just going to be constantly building. So I usually have one worker guy be my builder. Uh, and then he used the rest of the guys to max out the economy here. I found after you max out probably a base and a half worth of um, wood, then you basically have more resources than you can spend until you start building multiple buildings. Recruitment and building speed is very slow. Uh, so, which has a couple of things. One, you really have to plan out uh, what you're going to do. And two, it makes it really hard to re recover if you have a bad um, battle because it takes a long time to re-raise those troops back again, as you'll see. So you can see my wood is like astronomically high now. So the next thing I'm going to do, I actually probably didn't need to build that house yet, uh, is start recruiting units. So let me switch into gold. All right. So we're going to get the training camp. And I usually have two of these because the units are recruited so slowly that I really kind of need two. So I'll probably actually build both of them right now. And then we'll get the, uh, the king's cord up here in a second too. Don't have to worry about the AI attacking you, really. <laughs> I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever really been attacked by the AI. Oh, playing the game. Uh, there is no infinite queues in the game, which makes it a little tedious queuing up your units. Uh, when you queue something up, the resources are spent right then instead of when they start building, which means you can't even really queue stuff up for the future. So you really have to keep an eye on um, that sort of stuff. Okay, so there's one of them. I'm going to build another one. All right, we're going to start recruiting some troops and sending them over here. Should be able to afford my hero f right about now, so we'll pick him. There goes all my gold, though. 
Oh, that's it for 10. All right, so this is almost maxed out. I do like the idle worker button and the select all combat units button. That's pretty nifty. So I'm going to max this base out uh, so I can get... That'll be 4 and 5. That should be it. That'll max them out. So you see kind of a lot of waiting for stuff to, to happen. I have, like, so much wood now. Uh, so you really need to build multiple uh, recruitment buildings in order to afford doing that. Let's see, what do I need for the King's Court? That. I do need to get my gold up, but that should happen fairly quickly. All right, now when you double click on these, it'll select both buildings. So I usually control that to like two, and then you can use the mouse or the hotkeys, and it'll automatically split it between each one, which is pretty cool. I, I like that a lot. All right, so probably do, but again, because the resources are spent up front, you don't want to queue too many units up uh, because you could use those resources somewhere else. So this guy, and I'll actually probably build another King's Court here, to be honest. You go over there. All right, so start doing spearmen, and then we'll build another one. Maybe. Just two of each. Cue them up. I'm um, actually near my limit, aren't I? How can I borrow one of these guys? Come here. Go build a house. The better units from the King's Court. I really want the knights. I gotta build an academy first. That'll be the next thing I build, and then I'm gonna go expand out. Yeah, I know. But uh, those units use a lot of supply, and like each of these is three supply and 130 gold, uh, which is fairly significant. Yeah. Right. So what do I want to do? I'm gonna make you build a house. I'm going to have you rejoin the wood collection. So queue up for three. I'm already up the, up the thing. When you start building these higher units, then you really have to start going through houses pretty quick. Might not even get to the point where I need to expand out. Let's be spending resources so quickly. Nope. Really poor. Go down there. So, pretty decently sized army. But I'm gonna, like I normally do, I'm gonna wait until I max out my, uh, my pop limit. And actually, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start, after this house, I'm gonna go to the next expansion area. Uh, of which there are a lot. Every, every area has, uh, gold and wood. So... There's not really, uh, you know, you don't have to make tough decisions there as to where to go because everywhere has basically all the same stuff. Right, as soon as that house is done, okay, so I'm going to send you over here and you can build the gathering base and those can only be placed in specific spots, which are by the wood and the gold anyway. So there he goes. Uh, let's make sure I'm making people... Oh yeah, I still need that academy, don't I? Well, let me steal you. Well, that's not what I wanted. Hello? Go over here. Build me the academy, please. I want to get some knights. I actually need some catapults, too. I should build the uh, catapult thing. Uh, the tooltips here doesn't tell you what they do, what the buildings do. I always get them confused. Uh, especially the workshop versus the blacksmith. Uh, the black... And I'm going to probably prove myself wrong here in a minute, but the blacksmith is for upgrades, whereas the wood shop is for units. Is this guy done yet? No. That's going to get me a whole ton of wood and gold, so I don't really even have to worry about 
uh, resources anymore once that goes up. These are going to run out. I only have 3,000 over here, so I'm going to have to send those guys up to another base. You're done. Go over there. You done yet? Alright, so... Uh, okay, now I want more people. And you build more houses. On my way. Again, you see, I haven't even seen the AI yet. And I don't plan to. I don't know where exactly where they're at. They're over in this area in the upper, other opposite corner. All right, let's build some of the other ancillary buildings, I think. Let's do the blacksmith. Make sure that's maxed out. Let's get more units. All right, still don't have enough wood to really continually produce stuff, especially because those units cost so much. Now I'm going to need another house. I'm not quite at the point where I can. So yeah, so the blacksmith is for upgrades, which I'll do that. Upgrades take so long too. It's usually helpful to have two or three blacksmiths. Send him over the gold. Still need more houses. I mean, they take like a good two minutes or whatever. Yeah. I actually might build another blacksmith. And then I want to get a workshop so I can get catapults. There's another house. It's like alternate house. So house, some other thing. Another house. Let's do a second blacksmith. Two upgrades at once. Uh, go over here. How much wood do you guys have left? Not very much. All right, you guys go over here. I'm on it. Guys, you're gonna run out of resources soon. Uh, oh yeah, the other, so, do that. Yeah. Uh, what else do I want? The workshop, which is right there. Yep. And I don't need another house. Like I said, you basically don't need, yeah, I'm gonna run it, run into the pop cap here in a sec. Yeah. Yeah. You, go build a gathering base, please. Then you guys are gonna collect stuff. Cause this is almost out. Requires additional supply. Oh yeah. Once you hit the pop cap, which is set at two hundred, like I said, which we're gonna get to here in a minute. Uh requires additional supply. I'm just kind of low on wood. Because I pulled these guys out. Where are you? Oh, yeah, there you go. Catapult. Please. <sighs> Do I even need anything else? Not really. There's a temple spot in the middle that gives you spells. I guess I'll go do that. Just to show it off. Oh, yeah, wait. I need a house first. Hold on. I'll make a house. Yes, the Lord. The Lord. Yeah, while you guys are standing there, you make a house too. I'm on it. Come on. Yes, the Lord. Right, range attack's almost done, so we'll queue up that. So 
So one could argue that the low population cap limit is offset with the upgrade. I'm at my pod cap right now, 199. So. Uh, well, let's do wood. Alright, now i got to be a little bit smarter about what I want to build. Get over here, build this temple for me. Alright, let me select everybody. And let's yeah. go here, just in case. Alright, here's all these idle guys. Get so we want all you to go over here. So that'll give me access to a spell. <laughs> still could use more wood. Yeah, this shut down. This still has. Well, this this is gonna shut down in a minute too. I'll just move them up there. So now we're just kind of waiting. Where's my workshop? Kind of cool. So, and it's just simple, like, melee ranged or armor upgrades. There goes my temple. So that gives me access to a monster bear, apparently. Oh, what else do I need? Have that, have that. Don't even need defenses, really. I have the blacksmith workshop. I have basically everything. So I'm going to have you go collect gold. Oh, there you guys are. Go do all that. Give me more gold. Not too much, because I'm almost at the cap limit here. Requires additional wood. Yeah, now I'm at yeah I'm at the the limit. And see, if, even if I build another house, it's just gonna bump it up to 200. So it's not gonna really make that much of a difference. So now all you really have to do with your resources is just upgrades in the uh, in the blacksmith. That you uh, are limited. See, so that, yay, up to 200. <laughs> uh, go do gold. Alright, well, that's basically. That I don't. Uh, uh, there it goes. That's gonna be basically my limit. But I can queue these up, so at least they'll be ready to go when all my units are. Alright, so that's all my units. Now these guys are all idle now. Uh, let's go three here. And two. Or no, just one. One here. And the other guy can go to that wood. Alright, so now we're just kind of standing around uh, not doing anything. So, let's just get everybody going. So, we'll control group one, all my 58 units. Everybody go here, and then we'll go attack the enemy base. Uh, make sure my upgrades are upgrading. It's pretty much are. So, I think my gold is low. A little bit. That should be going up pretty quick, I would say. Alright, so there's my mass of troops. There's no formation... Uh, options or anything like that. There's, if you press A, you can attack move. And of course, my units are going to split themselves, so that's cool. There's my little scout dog. And he's going to die. Alright, so the defense is this guy has a bunch, is going to have a bunch of arrow towers. Uh, defenses are actually pretty stout. Um, it might take me a couple of goes to, uh, yeah, see, my hero already died. Might take me a couple goes to go through these guys because defenses are really cheap uh, and very powerful. Yeah, look, look at this junk. He has like four. But that's priority number one is taking these towers down. And then you can worry about the units after that. I think I'm still going to be okay. 
All right, and then just gonna kind of slash away at everybody. Okay, right, let's make sure we got the units ready. No, they're just gonna slash away at that. Uh, you know, the each of the heroes has um, abilities and stuff, but the battles, the people die so quick, you don't really even have time to use the things. Like, I clicked on him and then he was dead. So, there's not really, um, you know, time to micromanage all that stuff. Here, go, go attack him. This guy that's trying to rebuild his little thing. Yeah, I know my army's under attack. I realize that. Go over here, go attack more stuff. And this guy. I got like so much stuff. This is just gonna end it here. Once you get past that, but that's why you gotta max out your army because they have the AI puts up so many arrow towers. Uh, it's pretty ridiculous. Uh, in order to win, you have to. Oh, I forgot about my F3. Where's my bear thing? I don't even know where it like actually is. Oh, there it is. Oh, hey, come here. Go attack some stuff. Totally forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> and I won anyway. Go bear. Yay! Good, good, good job, Giant Bear. You really helped. Uh, and that's basically it. So, uh, that's Bannerman. Uh, so, like I said, the campaign, nothing innovative there. Uh, you know, the usual defending against wave of enemies, which is kind of annoying. Uh, attacking enemy bases, which plays just like a skirmish game. Uh, and then other weird restrictions, like s having to use stealth to go around enemy units, which is really uh, not fun, to be honest. And only being able to use hero units, stuff like that. Um, skirmish games play just like the one I just uh, showed you. Uh, if you have the same strategy every time the AI doesn't put up a fight, they don't really attack you at all. Um, online, obviously, would be more entertaining there. That's really where um, I think uh, the best part of the game would uh, be found. Uh, the interface is a mixed bag. I do like how you can double-click on one building type to select all the ones that are in view and then you just control group them and then you can queue up and automatically split the build orders between them. I don't like how they uh, do not have repeating or infinite queues available. That would I think cut down on a lot of micromanagement especially because they really want you to try to micro uh, battles by using the hero spells uh, during combat. So you really shouldn't be paying too much attention to your buildings. So it'd be nice if that was automated. It's odd that the resource collection is completely automated once you assign them to the building, but then queuing up units can't be done uh, like that. It also needs tooltips explaining what the buildings do, because I always forget which one uh, the workshop and the blacksmith does between the two, because I can never remember. Um, I actually like the idea of having a limited number of workers per uh, resource building. It really forces you to expand out. Uh, which even if you steamroll the enemy, you'll have to expand out to at least one, usually two additional bases to collect uh, more units. Uh, the production and construction is very, very slow, um, which means you'll have to have usually two, sometimes three, depending on your, you know, what you want to build. Uh, buildings constructing units because it just takes so long for them to have uh, to be recruited. And you have to go around and build a lot of houses. And then once you reach the relatively low uh, population cap, you'll have to research those upgrades um, in order to uh, really take the enemy out and try to fight through the uh, all the arrow towers that the AI does. You know, there's only one faction in the game. There's only one defensive structure in the game. You know, there's no walls or anything. It's just those arrow towers. So there isn't really that much variety in build order. You know, you're pretty much what you're going to do every game because uh, you kind of, you know, follow the same structure uh, of, you know, queuing up how many workers and when to start building units and stuff like that. 
Uh, you know, the spells and the hero special abilities are nice and all, but honestly, the combat happens too fast for it to really matter. Uh, the AI is only really good in the campaign because they're given so many more units than you in some of the missions. And in the skirmish game, they really just don't put up a fight. Um, you know, the, like I said, I've never seen them come and actually attack my units uh, by the time I've fully recruited all up, you know, 200 units. They've never come out and, and really challenged me at all, ever. Uh, so that's a little disappointing. Again, online might be a different issue, but, uh, you know, as that goes. Uh, the defenses are pretty effective, too. So unless you max out your army and hit that 200 popcat, you're really going to get wrecked uh, by a group of three or four arrow towers all in the same area that just fire uh, ad nauseum at you. Um, and because everything takes such a long time to build, you really need to make sure that your first attack is your last attack because it will take too long to recover uh, after a battle uh, and then people will be able to counterattack you. Um, so overall, you know, there are some interesting ideas uh, with resource collection, but there's too many issues in the game. The AI is not up to snuff. There's not very many skirmish maps. The campaign doesn't offer anything different. Um, and because there's only one faction and very limited buildings and units in that faction, uh, there isn't really much variety in uh, strategies from game to game uh, as you take on uh, the AI or online opponents. That's all I have for today. Until next time, bye now.